How to qualify those who have access to you. Confidentiality is important to the wealthy. In fact, confidentiality is required among the wealthy, because they know that personal information is often distorted, misused, and even sold to the highest bidder. It is not uncommon for the wealthy to ask employees to sign contracts guaranteeing privacy, confidentiality, and discretion. The wisdom of Solomon is filled with rewards for those who are discreet and confidential. Note this principle found in Proverbs 21 verse 23, Woso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Solomon guarded his focus. He showed no interest in even hearing the criticism from his staff. In Ecclesiastes 7 verse 21, he says, Also take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant cursey. Most of us have struggled with the temptation to dig through the conversations of others in search of one sentence of criticism. Then, use that criticism to build a case against that person and destroy the relationship. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into today's personal development video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video, and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now, because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's personal development topic. Solomon knew the power and the rewards of focusing on his dream. Nothing was more important to him than the completion of his goal, even the criticism from those closest to him. Solomon rarely discussed his personal life with anyone. The name of his best friend and his favorite people are not even recorded anywhere in history. Donald Trump wrote on page 24 of his book, I don't particularly like talking about my personal life. When I do give an interview, I always keep it short. The reporter is in and out in less than 20 minutes. Successful people limit the access others have to them. Know the power of privacy and confidentiality, and qualified those who had access to him. How to break through the distress. You had a great plan for the day ahead. You even went to bed early, so you could wake up with a little more energy to put to your project due jar, but something happened. Somewhere in the night, upset struck your unconscious, or perhaps you got an early morning phone call or nudge, and a problem you had not anticipated occurred. So much for your best laid plans. When the unexpected happens, we usually get a little anxious. Sometimes we totally freak out. Again, this is pretty human stuff, but the problem is that, whenever most people get derailed, their confidence is shaken, and they can change direction, or just get lost, and have difficulty getting back on track. Here's an alternate way to keep your focus and move forward in the process. Instead of putting your project aside to deal with the problem that's trying to get your attention, take the time to do what you were going to do in the first place. By not allowing yourself to be thrown off course, you are keeping control. If you can sit down and complete your goal, despite your current and most likely momentary circumstances, you will build your self-confidence and won't lose any ground. Being able to focus, even though you are stressed, and get the job done gives you the knowledge that, no matter what happens, you can avoid internal musings and excuses. Doing what needs to be done, regardless of temporary setbacks, will make you proud of yourself. It also produces a secondary positive outcome, which is a greater ability to focus on the problem that caused the upset, because you won't be thinking of what you haven't gotten done. You will also gain more clarity, and maybe even some additional ideas, of how to deal with your dilemma while finishing the work you had planned to do. Anytime you can use your unconscious to help you create some problem-solving skills, do it. We have all experienced getting better ideas once our minds are actually off a problem we are trying to solve. In addition, you may be able to channel your nervous energy into something much better. Just being frenetic and ignoring what you had planned to do doesn't help you or anyone else. But if those around you see that, even though the world is going to hell in a handbasket, you can still get the job done, then everyone involved feels more confident about you. Sometimes putting out fires can be a way of avoiding what you really need to be doing. So make sure the emergency is real and you truly are needed before you put your priorities on the shelf. 
The truth is that you do have the ability to get your homework done and save the world. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.